good afternoon we are so happy that you're here we daily vlog so if you like this video please come back tomorrow we just took two days off and it feels like so much longer i don't know why um but i got teddy here with me he just finished his nap james is napping now i am about to edit the vlog um but I wanted to show you guys that I got this jumpsuit. Like, you know that jumpsuit that's just, like, on TikTok? Like, this is the comfiest jumpsuit you'll ever buy. Well, I bought it because I saw it so many times. And I do love it. But I totally thought I got swindled. And it didn't say it had shipped for, like, weeks and weeks. And I just was kind of like, okay, I'm never seeing that. Um, but it showed up. <laughs> and so I am wearing it today. It is the comfiest thing. Um... And I really do love it. And I'm really happy about it. So just took this time to open the vlog. Do we even vlog? Sometimes. <laughs> we only took two days off. It feels like it was a, a year. I know. meeting he says we're gonna get a new camera i just showed him laughing so hard it was so cute you see that baby up there that's you i gotta go on a five mile run today charging up my headphones while i'm working and then when i'm done working we're gonna go gonna go on it's crazy it's the longest run between now and the marathon oh my because then it's three miles tomorrow and then technically I'm not supposed to run, but then I'll do a shakeout. <laughs> You're getting new shoes. I'm going to do a shakeout Saturday, but then my buddy Steve from Tampa, if you ever heard about him, he um, just sent me a screenshot. He just bought me some uh, some some Sauconies, which I'm excited because I've never run in Sauconies. He was mad that I wasn't getting myself new race day shoes, so he's like... I thought it wasn't good to get new shoes for me. It's not. Or like he was mad that I didn't have race day shoes. Oh, okay. So he sent me these, and his, he's like, you just have to wear these and run these before the marathon. So I'm going to go on a run Friday and Saturday, which is not on the plan. I'm supposed to do off. My actual plan has me off Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But I like to do shakeout runs the day before a marathon. So I'm going to do a shakeout Saturday. There's actually two different group ones going on Saturday. I'm going to see if I'm going to go to any of them or just be a loner and go on one by myself. Um, but when the shoes arrive Friday, I'll go on a quick like mile or two in them to make sure they're good and then i'll have the shake out saturday to make sure they're good and if not i'll default to my training horse work horses my keanu 27s not that any of you actually care about these shoe things yeah boogies but that's why i kept the baby next to me to keep it interesting i think people have found our channel from your running yeah but the baby's way better uh, Ooh, that's why you started running take a take a teddy <laughs> To have the baby. Take a teddy. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, he woke up from his nap and he chose violence. Uh, do, do, do. Uh. <laughs> you're so silly. <laughs> yeah, you're fixing that. That's what you're doing. Uh huh. Up, up, up. Oh, I can do it, do. Oh. Oh. What is 
this? What is this? What is this? See this? No parking. Chicago Marathon. Wait, 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 wait. Out of service due to Chicago Marathon. Yes. Really good run, five miles, 10.21 pace. Um, probably could have been closer to 10, but I didn't do a little bit of a walking and blogging in the third mile there, but it's steamier than it has been in Chicago. It was like 75, so, um, but looking like good weather for Chicago. I think the low is 41, high is 63 right now for Sunday, so five miles just now. It's the longest run between now and the marathon. Tomorrow I'm gonna do three. Um, Friday, I'm just gonna put like probably two miles on the new shoes once I get here. And then Saturday, do another two or three shakeout. So, it's like official, official, official paper now. We're watching our vlogs. Just for fun, guys. We go to Disney World soon. I need to tell work about that. Next month. Oh my god, that's weeks away then. Yeah, and we have something going on like basically every weekend. Yeah. We have something going on basically every weekend until that. So it's gonna go fast. Thank you. Yay. Okay, so the other day when we weren't vlogging, I don't think Sarah made the uh, Doc no, Pokey. I showed it and it was too spicy, so I said I was gonna keep the rest of you. So, and. <laughs> Me and James are about to eat some of it, and we'll see how it goes. James's reaction to one bite. What's his second? He's still eating it. Watch, we'll see if he eats another one. Champ. Okay, friends. This was our last Pepsi. Um that we had in the house and we're not gonna buy anymore for some time. I, I mean, I have drank Pepsi forever, but when we were going through our fertility treatments, our doctor had changed our diet. And when I brought up that, like, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink alcohol, um, and but I do drink pop, he said, I'm taking away so much. Um, like, even when you're pregnant, you can have one pop a day. Um, so drink your can of pop and i took that seriously and i had decided that i would you know our diet had to change so much um that i would drink the pop and so it's just been regularly in our house um and i don't know i think after teddy's little trip to the cardiologist they had asked a lot about family history and I have had a handful of adults in my life um, be affected by heart-related issues. And he's like, well, that's all adults. Um, that's not really like what I'm looking for when I'm like looking at the baby's, you know, heart murmur. But I was like, I'm an adult. I should take my heart health seriously um, and my other health seriously as well. So Peter and I just chatted about eliminating our regular intake of energy drinks. And like, I'm, I still like a good fancy drink. I have my kombucha, we got some sparkling water, which I'm usually a hater of because it's not sweet enough for me. It's just not pop. Um, but again, I like a fancy drink. There are some that I like. And so today was my last Pepsi for quite some time. Not that I'm not gonna, I'm, we have learned that we're never gonna eliminate something completely from our lives um we're gonna enjoy it when we want to here and there but this was like an everyday thing um that i don't know that we could, i could do without and so i'm gonna see how i feel um but it's a big deal i've never eliminated pop before except for like lent when i was a child so um it's a big deal 
We had some uh, bananas that were getting a little too ripe. So I'm gonna freeze them. I keep seeing yummy Instagram, like vegan ice cream, vegan milkshake recipes, and they all start with frozen banana. Um, so I'm gonna freeze these bananas and make something yummy and pumpkin-y soon. This is the pasta I whipped up for dinner. This is BB-8. <laughs> and this is Hocus Pocus. And this is Theodore Lords. Remember, remember when we were them for Halloween? Yeah. I'll put in the pic here. Before the sun goes, bye bye. And it's 70 degrees out. I got Teddy with me on a swing. It's got the hiccups. Oh gosh. So Jamie's been pretending that things are a phone, I think. Yeah. Because he did it to that. He, I actually put in a clip in the vlog we posted today. Um, we're coming. And then he goes, boop. But we have no idea. We have no idea where he got that from. Like, know. usually we can, like, pick up things from, like, a movie or Miss Rachel. But I don't know. I don't know where that came from. But it's so stinking cute. He didn't do it that time. We'll but, try to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 He's so in. Wow! <laughs> Underdog. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so scary. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, baby. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, those <laughs> eyes. Up. Good job. New skill alert. <laughs> you going to go down? Yeah. I posted on our Instagram story where um, we're growing out Jamesy's hair for his Halloween costume. Want to guess what it is in the comments? Okay. All right. Since that park is not far from Stan's Donut, I was feeling a coffee. So we stopped by for a donut for Sarah and James to share. Oh, dance it out! The donut pretzel. Yes, and I felt bad because they were closing in like five minutes, so I didn't get any to like drink. Drink. I just got a, a La Cologne canned concoction. We got a little garden action going at Middlehurst. We came to show the chickens or to see if they were still awake. Might be too dark for these little chicks. All right, here's the chicken coop. Are there any chickens? They must be sleeping. They must be snoozy palooza. Uh, like, where do they go? Do you think they go to a farm? I wish I got this when the sun was up. It's like a very folly tree here in Chicago. They're still mostly green. Um, I was looking at a vlog. We had, we've had like more of our vlogs up recently and it was like a late October where like it finally like looked very fallish out. Yeah. There's still a lot of green. But like these things are turning. This is gonna be cool. We should come visit tomorrow during the day just to see this thing. Yeah. Shoot. I think we should go to the bookstore too soon. Our children were asleep before 10 o'clock. Before 9 30. That's, that's 30 minutes that we relished in. Yeah. I mean, we didn't relish in like comfy, relaxing. Yeah. Just sitting and I took this way. It was like, no, get to Edwin. Get to the dish. I know, but down. like, tell that to us two weeks ago when we were in the thick of it. Oh, well, yeah. That's two nights in a row, like, the dishes and laundry were, like, worked on, and I'm left to... Uh, that was room. two nights ago. I feel like we're either, like, full force or nothing at all. Last night was a nothing at all night, but... I'm about to clean up the toys and then start folding last laundry with Gladiator. I just started it. 
Does anybody know about any of Marcus Aurelius books? <laughs> I always buy books and never read them, but I feel like I would actually read a Marcus Aurelius book. A lot of the books I have recently spawned from like TED Talks or YouTube videos like that, so it's like I start reading it and then I'm like, this is literally just a transcript of the video I watched. You need to like read for pleasure, like a story or history or something like, like that. Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. Now all the folding of the laundry begins. Mm -hmm. And now our springtime surprise American Cancer Society fundraiser link is in the description instead of Chicago. Another fundraising adventure begins. Yes, so that is there if you feel so inclined or if you feel like you want to share it. It would help us out. Yep, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.